Hola mi gente, bienvenidos otra vez. Hello my people, welcome back. And here today we're gonna do a studio tour. So this is what my place looks like. Ta -da -ta -da -ta -da. And then it stops here. Okay. Alright, uh, let's start up here with the studio tour. Okay, so first this is what the overall view looks like. This is everything. Um, so this is my Wacom keyboard charger mic. This is the mic that I use when I'm doing my voiceovers. It's a Yeti mic. And here's my charger for my uh, camera, mouse. Oh, and then this huge conch over here. I literally just got this this week when I went to the beach. It's massive. Um, I have some ideas of what I want to do with it, but we'll be doing that later on, some other week. Anyways, if we go up here, here I have my little painting of my bunnies. And then here I have some peg stuff from peg boards. And then here I have some pencils, I have some markers for lettering. Here I have my Copic markers, um, those are like the skin tone sets, and then here I have different a variety of brushes, those are watercolor brushes. Here I have a little plushie, a rock, and a little tiny ass plushie, and then here I have my plant, here I have another plant, here I have a shell, and then here I have my oil brushes that are up there. Anyways, my favorite part of my studio is probably my pegboard and my desk. It's like the best part. And then here I have another little plant. As you can tell, I really love plants. Um, here I have just a bunch of masks hanging because of the bead. And then here I have two jars. I don't keep this. I don't keep these here. It's just that I was. I've been working on a painting. So that's why it's there. Let me move this camera. It's in the way. <clears throat> yeah, I've been working on a painting, so I've just been leaving my jars there. Um, and then this here I have this. You guys always see this in the video. Here I have my pencil pouches are always here. And then of course scissors. Scissors are a must in this space. I always need scissors. Here I have um my headphone, bunch of little stuff, and then, oh, I just recently got some new watercolors, of course, and then, so, this is just here from yesterday, um, yeah, this, I didn't clean my desk, so I'm just literally showing you guys what it looks like, um, okay, and then here I have my little plants, and my tiny plants, here is my couple of decoration stuff, here's this, Thing that I left here for my brushes while I was painting. I mean, here I just have a bunch of plants. Just a lot of plants. I've, all these are my favorite. I don't have, I don't think I have like a top favorite. I love all my plants. Um, and then here, the most important part. Um, so this is my little art cart. For a long time, I didn't want to get one because I just didn't like the way that they looked like. I have those. But then when I saw this one, I was like, I have to get it. It's so convenient, especially since when I'm working over here at the easel, I literally just roll my cart, put it on this side, put it over here, and then I put my paint, and then I'm putting put, it, put uh, my brushes here, and I can just. You know, have a place for my supplies to go as I'm painting. Here I have all a lot of important stuff. As you saw, the watercolors are right there. And the reason I got this one was because it had this little tray thing where it slides and opens. 
because I really needed a art card that had a top. It's kind of dirty right now, but it's okay. Um, and then here I have a bunch of stuff. So for this art card, I really wanted all of my painting supplies to go here. Just like the main things, like masking fluid, um, paints, um, paint cleaner. I mean, not paint cleaner, brush cleaner. Um, you know, tape. Just different mediums in here. That way it could be easy access for me and I would always be able to see it. And then, because the thing for me is that if I can't see stuff, I won't use it. So here, this is my extra brushes right here. I have some more brushes. I'm going to use these for gouache. Um, over here, I have my gouache, my palette of gouache. Here, I have um, some more rags that I need to clean. And then here, I have some masking fluid. This one, I don't know if I can use that one anymore. I think it's broken. But here, I have masking fluid. Here's where I keep my jars. So, I keep all my painting stuff here. Here is the brush cleaners, masking tape, um... And a little thing and then here i have all my oil paints here i have this this is actually not going to be for me but i'm going to keep it here this is going to be for my little cousins when they come over and paint because they like to paint with me so this is going to be theirs and then here i have some sponges here i have just a box full of i think those are like stickers in there i forgot to it and then here i have this for my oil paint and then so this goes right here i feel like such an artist now that i have this art cart oh, i need to put that down there okay and then let's go back over here da -da -da. here i have just a bunch of tech stuff oh look this is where i have this now since i'm not in school anymore not till this fall just keep this in here, but all my tech stuff is here. And then, down here, this, I have watercolor sketchbooks over here. And then these are uh, print stuff, because I'm going to be making prints, hopefully, sometime soon. And here, I have, this is why I put all my markers. kind of slide everywhere sometimes here i have extra light bulb here i have um some stationary supplies that i still haven't used um i have a lot of other supplies there mm, and then here this is one of my favorite um drawers although i don't use a lot of these all the time i really want to start using them so these are my pastel pencils and then there's pencils regular pencils here and then here i have um uh, my pencil pouch which is filled with a bunch of stickers here i have a lot of extra stuff so this is where i keep all my charcoals and also extra erasers and pencils here i have some pencils I have more pencils color pencils here i'm metallic color pencils too down here and a bunch of other um, stuff that I need to do a review. Oh, I just got this one. Found this at Dollar Tree. I liked it. So I was like, I need it. It's really cute. This is what it looks like. It's just a tin. Tin, tin can. I don't know what you call it. Um, okay. Now moving from here to here. This is my easel. It's not the cleanest, but it does the job. It has a bunch of stains and stuff, but it works. Here in this very dark corner is where I have a lot of my canvases and I also have a huge watercolor paper right here that I will be doing painting with soon. Let's put that back in. Okay, and then I also have some frames as well. And then also just cardboard over there. Um, 
down here. It's like where well, I just put random stuff because I don't know where else to put it. Uh, but here I have some colored pencils, and then here I have a painting that's just right there underneath there. So let's not move that. I have some uh, packaging stuff, which I will be using it soon. And then this one is my um, watercolor paper. I think that's hot press. No, that's cold press. Here I have this cutting thing. And then here is where I have my... Oh my gosh, it's so dirty here. Don't pay attention to the dirtiness. I haven't cleaned it. Okay, here is where I have uh, my pastels. And then over here... Oi, okay. Over here, this is where I have this stuff. So some gloss. Just fixatives, not fixative. Extra jar, my ceramic stuff. I haven't baked these at all, so they're just here. Um, and these are actually not for me. This is for my sister and my mom. But we gotta bake it soon. And then here I have a gesso board. Oh. This one is for what I use this. One. Oh, for oils and acrylics. I'm going to be doing a painting on this sometime next, this month. Here I have another canvas. I have my ruler. Very dirty ruler. Old ruler. And then all the way down there. I have watercolor paper. Oh yeah. Look, this is how I can reach for it. So this moves. Because it got wheels. And then, so now, you can see all the watercolor paper. So that's how I can reach for that. And then let's put it back. Okay. Okay, so now moving to the drawers. So here I just have some paper. I don't know what it's called, but it's paper. Here I have just a random stuff. So like some sticky traps from my plants. This outlet box that I want to make into a little palette, uh, but I want to paint it and then put a sticker on top of that so you don't see the engravings of the logo. Here I have see I just have random stuff. These are notebooks for school. Uh, okay, let's move on. And then nothing in there. Room to grow. And then down here. I have all my cables right here, my cables here, some, what is it called? Uh, metal stuff. Over here, what would I have in here? Would I have, oh yeah, I have a just find a little craft things that I don't use, really. And then down here is where I have all my ceramic stuff. I just shoved everything in there. I tried to organize it as best I could. But my space is small, so. Can't really do much. Okay. And then moving on. Here. This is my bookshelf. And then over here I have my plushies. I love my plushies. Um, These were all gifted to me. Over the years. And then here I have another plant. Oh yeah, the reason why there's a lot of these is because there's been some uh, flies around here, so I just had to put sticky chips in the plants. Okay, and then here is where I have my sketchbooks. And then I also have um, my planner, a notebook, sketchbook, watercolor sketchbook, and just here's my little tiny sketchbook. This one, I've been using it a lot. Shut that back in there. And then over here is where all my mangas are. Now I have a penny for some reason. Oh no, I have a dime. I don't know why I have it there. Anyways, here is all of my mangas. And then this little tiny dragon. And then here I have 
some more mangas and then oh um this is uh what is it called the beatrix potter collection of all the little children's book and i got this so that i could see her illustrations because I really love her drawings. And then here I have the bunny plushie. A lot of plushies. Okay, and then down here, some more mangas and then books. I remember I had one of these books when I was little. It's from the fairy, something fairy. Oh, the flower fairies. I still have one of the books from them. And then um, I really love the book. I don't know what happened to it. I think it must have ripped or I guess we threw it away. But I just got the whole collection. And I really love the illustrations in there. Because they're watercolor illustrations. And then down here I have more books. And then down here I have a lot of already used sketchbooks. And then um, some books. This is a pen and ink drawing one. And here I have a watercolor one. I think every watercolor artist has this book. Or at least like beginners. It's a great book for beginners. Or for someone that just wants to learn about watercolors. And then here I have uh, some uh, some paper for animation. And then over here on this poster, everything is just taped on because I can't make any holes in my wall. <laughs> they won't let me make holes. So I just stuck everything on there. Oh, and then... Here I have my skateboard. This is a painting I'm gonna do, so I just stuck it on the wall because I didn't want to like bend it or anything. Um, then here we're back at my desk. Down here is a lot of cables and no Wi Fi router. And then over here, will be. And then, um, yeah, that's it. This is my little place, not that big. But it does the job. It's like a little cubicle. That's literally what it is. And it's not in my room. So yeah. That's it. There's nothing else. Um, I guess all that is left is to say that this is my camera that I use. And then my chair. From Ikea. And then... Down there, I have a trash can. Because it's necessary. Yeah, this is just my desk where I do all of my videos. And then my light. Let's turn this on. It's getting dark in here. It's in the morning, but not a lot of light comes in here. So I always have to have the light on from there. Um, yeah, that's it. Right, see you. Huge shout out to the fam who has helped me create this art space as well as supplied me with some art supplies.